Hi hey guys, in my last video I showed you how to install Android SDK version 2.3 in your Windows operating system. This video we are gonna see how to configure your Eclipse plugin to run your first program on Android emulator. So let's see what are all the install packages uh, in your SDK. So to see that go to the Android installation folder and start SDK manual. Here you can see that install packages that we did in our last um, video. So now what uh, we are going to do now is we are, go we are gonna add that Eclipse plugin for Android to your Eclipse. In order to do that just um, open your Eclipse. I am having the version uh, Helios I think. Uh, I am having a Helios. You can use Ganymedu or uh, Galileo anything that you have and all you have to do is just go to help and then install new software. Then uh, you need to add. I have already added, but you need to add this thing. Android. Uh, you like you. You can add like give the name Android here. Or I can add it like here Android, and then the location that you have to give is. Um, I think I have this thing. This location is. It says it's a duplicate location. Anyway, this location you can get it from. Uh, developer.android.com and anyway you can configure this repository in your Eclipse and you can check for the any updates so when you configure for the first time it will fetch you all the things like whatever the developer tools available in the repository just check the developer tools and go for, go with that installation I had already installed in my Eclipse so I'm not going to show now install it again so when you expand this developer tools you need everything all the four components for the first time when you install it okay ddms is nothing but it's a debugging manager from dalvik it's, it's for the dalvik virtual machine dalvik debug managing service okay and then what since i have already installed i am going to show you how to set the preferences to your sdk from eclipse go to windows preferences once you install all the plugins you are, you will see android okay click the android and then see the sdk location first time you will not have that sdk location available here you need to manually set this sdk location go and browse to the installation folder of your android uh, in my case it is local d colon android sdk and windows then give the path here it will take see you can check uh, see that android version 2.3.3 it has already taken the platform android 2.3.3 uh, from the installed location and apply okay then that's fine and one more thing here you can close your sdk manager and here i have already written one sample program that's what uh, that anyway I'm, i will show you how to create a program from scratch okay one thing i wanted to tell you is once you install the plugin from eclipse itself it's avd manager here you can see there is a small icon over there so just click on that icon your sdk manager will be opened and then before going to write our first program you need to configure your virtual devices i think you can configure it here i write with go to virtual devices I think I already have configured my own virtual device. Anyway, I will tell you how to configure your own. Let's configure for a new device. Okay, give. Um, I have my LG Optimus one defined here. Let's say I am giving Motorola Droid, and then choose your target. We have installed only one platform, so choose that Android 2.3.3, and then choose in built-in. You can choose HVGA. This is the screen size of size of the emulator. Okay, then create AVD. So it has created a AVD for Motorola Droid. Like that, you can create your own virtual devices here. Since I have already created my LG for uh, my LG Optimus, I'm just gonna remove this thing. Okay, fine. So I have only one virtual running uh, configured here. Okay, now everything is set for your first program just right click new android project you can choose from other first time you will not see that android then from here choose android android project next give my first android application this is a project name the way just give android application 
then you, you have to choose that build target since we have only one two dot three dot three you can select that one and give that application name as my android app and package name you have to follow some standard convention i'm giving com dot android ground dot application create activity activity just give the name we are not going uh, in depth into the programming concepts there you can get to know about what is activity and everything i'm just going to start up i'm going to tell you some simple applications that you want to uh, you can just load it in your, your emulator so give your my android app then next no need to go for check um test project just give finish here you can see the new thing um, project is uh, got created here android app so i'm not going to tell you about each and every project uh, the folder details here instead i'm going to tell you how to run your hello world program it's a very small program just open the source package here and you can see that whatever the package that we uh, gave that initial setup and open my android app okay this is the initial entry point for your application it extends from activity because since almost every everything is kind of activity so we are in android app so it's a screen activity you can imagine it as a screen for the hello world program so it indeed needs to extend from activity now i will show you just uh, how to print a world hello world here okay text view TV equal to new control shift o will get you fetch you that organize that import and it will fetch from the ip page and then tv <coughs> dot text hello for a change we will write hello android world every time we are writing hello world this time <coughs> hello android world welcome to hello world. now you need to set the content view fine save your program and then what we are doing is we are just writing hello android world string onto your application so just click android and then i am just run as android application run run so run as android application you will see the list of things which is happening here it is going to install android application apk Meanwhile, you can see your in the emulator will be opened. I had opened it for my previous project. Anyway, you will see it will, it will be taking some time. Be patient. It will be taking more time. It's sometimes to I mean, you know, boot up the emulator. So you can meanwhile, it's starting activity. So it's it's an activity. It is an activity. It's a uh, for some more time. It was starting so that it will be more than five minutes for me. It took more than six to seven minutes actually. Since I had already opened my emulator, it is booting again. So what it's doing? it is starting the activity that you can see it from here eclipse logs
just open your applications then you can go to my app but here your installation your application has been installed but i don't know like why it uh, it didn't start automatically oops just click on my android app and wait for a second yeah you got your first android app running you can see this is your application the handle the title bar contains your application name my android app whatever you gave and hello android world so this is what we have given it here right tv dot set text we had given hello android world that has come here so this is um the video like uh, i'm just have just shown you how to write your program first program and run right it's up to you uh, to just uh, go in depth into the programming and then um, read all those apis and come up with nice cool applications um so i'm just going to stop uh, that simulator i know I, i don't know like where to stop the simulator anyway let's thanks for watching have a nice day bye